Alright, so I'm going to dedicate this video to my uh, good friends, Jerry Kudo, Bakey Man for Re, and his brother, uh, Matt Duem, 1986. And uh, yeah, they, uh, Jerry put a note, something, before she passed away. And uh, before I read it, let me just say that uh, I would never share uh, my phone number to anybody. I mean, I know Taylor. Uh, he gave his number to me, but as far as Jerry, I gave out my number. And she just never wanted to actually uh, call me because it was a whole baggage of what she was going through. I didn't know she was going through a lot of stuff. Um, long story short, she just said that she didn't want to because it's from a different state and then uh, a random number will pop in. I'm like, who cares? I'm giving my number so... I can actually, we can communicate and talk, and uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, we did play several games that year, which was during the start of the You Know What in 2020, and um, we did have a lot of fun playing several games. I'm going to show you one of the games that we played together, and um, yeah, so since Jerry passed away around mid-September, that's around my birthday week, by the way. 2022 she was found a week later and died from cancer and uh, I have to be careful what kind of words I say and what I'm reading here and overdose from sleeping pills her cancer was stage 4 which is considered to be the one of the most I think the most advanced uh, cancer but you can live several years and um, you can actually outlive stage four but it's chances of that they're kind of low and she knew she was going to pass away so she passed away from her sleep according to the doctor that was her last known she wanted to pose her but did not i'm posting here for obscure in public some of her last videos i don't know who it is okay so it says i'm so sorry i never said anything yep Yep, she never said anything to me. And uh, the last time I talked to her was in 2021 over the PlayStation chat. Before that, 20 was like boys chat. Very comforting boys, very soft, warmed boys of a person, man. Like she didn't deserve to go through this mess, man. I don't want to say goodbye but uh, i got my worst time as it goes by decided to write how i feel during my last few days after i lost my father from this then my brother from ending his life i became broken i have the guilt of letting my brothers pick the wrong choice in life as i support him something he shouldn't I love my brother and was support to keep living and now I love my brother and was my support to keep living and I wanted to support his life but in the end he made the decision when he told me about his past relationship I tried to comfort him but I know he told me that he will end his life if it didn't work out for his last relationship for his next one I thought he wasn't being serious at the time until he suddenly asked me to go out and buy me gifts. Then the next thing I know, he was gone. I tried to live, but I was hard. Especially whom he support me is gone. My mother is unsupportive and find me a burden as she only thought of me as an income as she only cares about me when I have money. Man, that's a very harsh thing to do that a very close family member thinks like that. Unlike my father who tried to support me, but passed away, and my mother thought I was making good income at work. My older siblings who never supported or helped me, also, wait, my older siblings who never supported older siblings i guess brothers and sisters i don't know how many jerry has also find me a burden 
I didn't matter to them when I almost died from that and had to force myself drive my car to the ER. Man, that's pretty sad that... Well, at the same time, everybody was kind of like in panic mode to go to the doctors. Nobody wanted to go because you thought you were going to get it sick. And it was a very freaking annoying moment in our modern history where you couldn't even go to the doctor and people would pass away. You couldn't even hug your loved ones because you would be scared of, oh, you know what? They have this, this, and that. Like, it's fucking bullshit, man. Anyways, let me read. While coughing blood and ask for help at the time. I realized they didn't care about me if I was gone as they could have helped me go to the ER. But then they didn't. I got so depressed that I wish I disappeared. Make this a little bit bigger. But my close brother came in from work, found me lying at the park. I was, I think that's the brother she was talking about earlier. I was saved by him and that's the reason I was able to live longer. After I got a little bit better, I decided to move from home to live my brother's place. But unfortunately, things had to go downhill after he confessed how he was also depressed and that I ended up supporting him the wrong way by pursuing his love and not to give up until his uh, end with his ex. I didn't know. I had no clue. He tried to reach me out. He tried to reach out to her again, but the girl already had someone else. I don't know what happened after, but he then told me his best friend, whom he thought would always dare for him, backstab him, backstab him with his ex. That was that he was this kind of a person to his ex that ended up breaking all his friendships. This was when he told me he wanted to take me out, take me out later to buy me gifts. And that I don't need to worry about. He's not going to do anything to himself. And then he loved me. But then ended up his life the next day. I tried to come back to my channel. To keep it alive. To keep me busy. But I couldn't just do it anymore. I think this was when she was doing Resident Evil 8. Then she put a Discord. I couldn't join the Discord. Because that's when my Discord got hacked. And um, I was also busy helping my dad with something. Sorry, as I tried to live, I ended up having, I'm just going to say this, that, and that, and I think she got that from the, the, the word that starts with the C, ends with 19, so, as I stress myself out, and then anxiety and lost appetite, I tried to live normally with my situation and told my best friend in real life about my story. I know she loves me, but I feel like my life is not going anywhere with my beloved pets also passed away sooner. After which also made me depressed even more. I was so depressed that I got into an accident and broke my leg. I got hospitalized after I got sent home with crutches and leg support with my friend helping me. I was tempted to start a new life to move to a different country to get married from someone I really love and met here. Interesting, I don't know who she's talking to, talking about. But the burden of taking care of me made me realize to let it go. And this is a thing, man. We live in an age of narcissistic mentality behavior that um, if you're not going to do anything for me, I don't need you. Therefore, goodbye. I don't need nothing from you. The only, the only time I talk to you, the only time I message you is when I need something from you. Other than that, you don't exist the age of the social media has made people think like that, man. To let my life of life go to find a better happy life. I'm not going to say who because I don't want the person to feel guilty. Yeah, well, I don't think it's me because I'm not, I'm not from the another country. But yet again, like I cherish Jerry. I think I was in her circle, but not her inner circle. So her best friend and this uh, person she was talking to was part of her inner circle so and then she linked up a video of something which I'm not gonna link it just like something depressing so I'm so sorry if I made an impact to your life please don't be sad for me I just wanted to make everybody happy 
but I wish everyone to be happy in their life and have good health and be successful and every you can pray for me to be able to rest in peace. This message goes out, this means I'm gone. So I'll say it even though I don't want to say it. Goodbye. Jerry, and then this is the link that she posted here. And um, on my birthday, I asked uh, several people, I think like four or five people, they could actually join in my island. Um, I asked one of the friends that I was um, a classmate, actually. I thought he was going to join in for sure, and then he ended up being busy or something happened. So I kind of felt broken that nobody could have joined except except jerry said yes and not only did she say yes she made a video on it so let's watch let's make this normal size what a neat sound so i'll just talk along as i go with this video so i met jerry just the same as bakey man for re we met in Rest New Outbreak back in the 2000s, and then uh, we played on the Japanese server. I don't remember playing with Jerry back in the American servers, but we did in the Japanese servers, and we had really fun. Um, in her older videos, you can see we were playing together, and um, it's kind of a bummer. They only played a few games, like two or three games. Wanted to play more, but we sadly didn't so this is basically my island and the animal crossing she's she's coming to visit me for my birthday on september 16. she uploaded it the next day and um i did play other games not just versus new outbreak and animal crossing we did play resistance and i think I wanted to get her to play other games like Dead by Daylight, but that's when she was kind of like not being as active anymore. Because during this time, I think in September, that's when she got sick. Because she kind of vanished after the month of September. And I think her father was the one that got sick as well, and then her father couldn't make it. And then um, she almost passed away from the, you know what? Because YouTube can't even, you can, I don't know, YouTube is weird. Can't even say specific stuff or words. So, I don't know if she got sick again. And then, uh, considering that she's from Alaska. She got sick, and even though Alaska is not a state that, that was infested a lot with that disease. But she was in um, the capital Anchorage, so there you go. That's what most of the personal stuff that I'll say from Jerry. As far as that, I won't talk about much. Because we did like go back and forth with some um, personal things. And then she came visit my uh, house right there. So I had the idea of actually not stream of having a video of this, but of having several people, like at least three, my brother and somebody else, because I was watching um, several people making videos of Animal Crossing in that year. And um, aside from this, I wanted to like play a band and like play music. I'm like, if I can't play music in real life, might as well do it in the game. But that never came hap that never came true. Uh, this day on September 16, Jerry actually gave me a PlayStation Plus for one year, which I didn't even ask for. Uh, and then she gave me, I think, one million Animal Crossing co money, which I wasn't expecting either. Like I, I just wanted her to actually visit my island. I felt bad because a year later when she kind of vanished I wanted to actually get uh, tell her when was her birthday which I never knew what what day it was okay she said what well, happy birthday but she didn't post it let me spit things up here So 
it was before she wanted to leave the island and said you know what just play some games before you actually uh, leave so it can make it more entertaining now that you're recording and um, the second video that I'm gonna show you in a bit that's exactly what I did okay I think we did this and then she did it on another part she split it into two parts I'm gonna cut this video here so I told her let's race on the water um, in all fairness, I'm going to tell you the honesty, I let Jerry win because I wanted to be a gentleman and um, I say it was like, it was a tie but then she said she, she won but I'm like, I did it on purpose for her to win so you're going to see it later in this video. right here kind of did it on purpose to actually um, make Jerry win I think my joystick was still not um failing on me but it did fail me later that I think next year it was drifting so but it, it has nothing to do with that it wasn't drifting during this time I think we did played another game called hide and sneak I was just running out of ideas. I'm like, what? What do I play? For? So yeah, Jerry's here because I told her to wait at the airport so I can hide, so we can uh, do a countdown of I don't know, like a minute or two, so I can have time to actually hide. So she's looking for me. So I couldn't move. That was part of the rules, so I had to stay put in one sp spot. I should have hide under the museum. That could have been a really good spot, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Here> you go. <laughs> kind of did it prop purpose there. <laughs> And I was like, you know what, let's um, go to the water and let's just pretend you're a fish so I can catch you. So I did that. Or vice versa. There you go. If Jerry was alive right now and um, she was still like a gamer person, for sure we would probably be. Honestly, I think I I think we could have probably been one of the best um, online friends. I would get along so well with Jerry, and it's I don't get along too well with people that 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 much it's kind of a bummer that the people that are really enjoy being around in a company man they just vanished or something very bad thing just happened to them which is yeah it's a tragic thing you see I'm gonna speed things up again I don't know what exactly we did after here. I think it was my turn to find Jerry, I think. OK, 
Okay, never mind. I don't know exactly what, what we did because this was two years ago, so. Okay, yeah, Jerry's hiding now. Yeah, there we go. Much better hiding spot than my mine. That took me too long to find her, though. There we go. I think that was pretty much I say goodbye to Jerry in the game I don't know if I come to the airport So, thank you very much, Jerry, for giving me this memory. Um, I'll sure visit this video from time to time whenever I have the chance. It's one of those things that uh that I'll remember. And then um, Bakey Man for Re is another person that I'm paying tribute. So right now, Bakey Man for Re and uh, Matthew M passed away they're no longer with us his brother showstopper um showstopper hpk something 90 i think it's 90 he's still alive uh he's on psn i tried talking to him but he just didn't want to talk to anybody just like in the case with jerry like they don't want to offer people to actually talk to whenever they put themselves in a in a, in a hole and uh, I was there to actually absorb all the negative energy they could actually throw out at me and uh, support them and provide them anything that I can actually make them comfort so that they can actually feel better and um, see if they can change their mindset with whatever negativity they're going to. So, Becky's uh, thing was one of the few people that actually visited my channel and just gave a thumb up and would sometimes post comments frequently so I think Bakey, April and Taylor were like the most uh, visit, that would visit me the most but Bakey's no longer with us so it's I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss his uh, company uh, we would play back in Left 4 Dead days Again, we met as well with the same game as Jerry vs. New Outbreak. Um, Binky played with his brothers and then he he was playing with this uh, other person that he had a crush with. And um, I talked to him about it if he needed anything. And then he just said he let it go. He, he didn't actually care anymore. But I don't know. Deep down, I felt like he kind of was broken. Which I don't believe in online relationships and to this day like there's reasons behind that I, since I was a teenager I never believe in that man and to this day I'm gonna keep my word into that um, so Bakey didn't have any videos with us he had a I do have memory of Left 4 Dead but yet then again I'm not sure no there's nothing here so Matthew passed away first in 2021. Wait, early 22, the same year that Jerry passed away. Uh, Bakey passed away this year. So Matthew got a. Uh, 
he passed away with the same disease that uh, Jerry's brother, wait, Jerry's father, sorry, passed away with the C word ending with 19. Um, they invited me. I remember this stream right here that, um, and by, and by the way, Matthew was the one that motivated me to get that webcam and do the streams like I did in my early PS4 days. Well, actually, I'm not early. That's when I bought my PS4 kind of late, back like a year before 2020. 2019 was when I bought it. See, inviting me right there. Oh my God, I didn't even know. But by the time he wanted to invite me, I was already tired, man. And I regret not playing with them. I feel like I whined that there were several people that ignored me. And then like I did it to them. But I sent them a message that I didn't want to play because I was tired. But at the same time, I didn't want to play Back for Blood because I didn't have it. And I didn't enjoy it as much as I did with Left 4 Dead. Because not only were the or this play group were interested in playing with me in this game there was another girl that wanted to play with me as well uh lone wolf and then the moment that i said that i was not gonna get the game she was got frustrated and wanted to actually uh she bothered me for several times after that but i, I already stayed my point that i didn't want to play back for blood and to this day i still don't own the game So right here, as soon as they start the session, it started like at 2 in the morning. It was really late, so I was like, ah, oh, man, no. I was already tired. We play Left 4 Dead. For the better part, uh, Bakey never liked playing PvP. I remember him getting a little bit frustrated easily. I think we played like 2 or 3 sessions of PvP. It wasn't too fun say the least all right you see here show stop by hbk 90 well i still remember the name i think 90 had to do with because he was born in 1990 then Beggy was much older i think uh Matthew was born in 1987, that's why it's... 86, sorry, that's why it says Matthew M, 1986. I think Bakey was probably like four years older than them, so probably 1982. Or 80, somewhere around there. So they were like four, four years apart from each other. Wait. Yeah. So I don't think they had other siblings it was just them three Bakey and the uh, Matthew did mention several stories about their early childhood and um, they did mention that uh, Bakey said that no, it's just us Ma and Pa already passed away so the, when he said that he kind of said it like in a sad way so one thing that I see from this, the tribute for Matthew, Jerry, and Becky, is that loneliness is a very harsh thing. Sure, loneliness can be good to you can avoid several drama things, but don't put yourself in a hole. Uh, we were meant to actually be social creatures and socialize and and work things now with technology we can just buy stuff we don't have to cook it people just microwave things open them microwave things and it's already ready and then when back then people would hunt work as a team to actually kill something and celebrate the kill uh, everything is now working so fast it's all about me me the social media Treating yourself like a celebrity, posting pictures, how many people are following you, the whole garbage, man. I don't like the generation that we're living here. And um, if you need help, 
and if you don't have anybody that can talk to there's always going to be somebody if you're playing video games and you're a loner there's always going to be somebody there to actually guide you and uh, help you from any uh, mental uh, breakdowns illnesses that you're going through because uh, depression is a mental illness and uh, you can actually talk to your pre um, suicide prevention and there's always going to be hope i know that society now is messed up with uh, narcissistic behavior and then um i know that in canada they actually help you commit that you know what which is kind of very f uh, messed up thing i mean we have a lot of messed up things in america as well so when i found that out i was like man i didn't know canada was that bad and um yeah man even if very close family members that are not there for you it's in my case i never experienced that but uh there's always gonna be issues there like i said try and see if you can find that specific um help comfort and um always remember man there's always hope for everything always hope because the moment you want to give up and then if you really hang on what if like the coming days weeks months years are probably going to be the best time of the of your life and you learn something that you say wow now i think life is worth living or now i have a purpose in life which i never had before when i was depressed or i was going through all these kinds of uh, things and just just understand this man there's always hope and don't let time actually get the best of you because that's one thing time never forgives i'm gonna cut this video thank you very much again jerry matthew bakey i miss all of you guys um, if i could i would say thank you very much um, I love you guys. I support you guys with everything you did and um, Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you very much for everything Take care everybody